Hey everybody, Dr. Ray Pastor here, and today we're gonna walk you through the Adobe Illustrator interface. So Adobe Illustrator is used to create vector-based images. You can see it open here on the screen, which means that when I create an image, it's based on a mathematical calculation, which means I can make it bigger or smaller without fear of pixelation, which is awesome for things like printing, for things like logo design that I might want big or small on a website, phone, I might wanna put on a t-shirt, all that cool stuff. I really love Illustrator, it's a great piece of software. So this is just simply walking you through the basic interface. You can see on the screen here, we have an artboard. Um, this is basically my canvas. Think if I was painting a picture, this would be my main canvas that I'm working from. Um, let's start with the left-hand side of the screen and kind of go down. So the first thing that we have here are all of our different tools. And obviously I'm not going to show you each one of these because it would take me an hour to really fully explain what each one of them can do. And I really recommend that you go through and play around with each of these because it's kind of fun to see how each one of them reacts to what you're trying to do. But on the top, very quickly, we have our selection tools. You can see if the tool has a little like white, almost looks like a white corner or carrot on the bottom of the screen, little white triangle. You, if you click and hold down, you're going to come up with a number of options for that tool. Because what they don't want to do is they don't want to show you with like, you know, 400 tools here on the side. So they have some hidden in here. And one thing you'll notice is as I click on a tool, the right hand side of the screen changes. So what's happening on the right hand side of the screen is these are my properties for that tool and each tool is going to have different types of properties. So I can change things based on what I click. Notice how between these two it changes what it's going to do. All right, so pay attention that when you click a new tool, you know, here's our pen tool, options will change versus our selection tool. Then we have our shapes. We have our pen and brushes, our text tool, rotate objects, get rid of things with the eraser. We have, you know, things like a gradient, um, an eyedropper to select colors. And one of the most important tools that I use quite often is my artboard tool, which I use very similar to layers in Photoshop, but this is how I use them in Illustrator. And then at the bottom of the screen, we have our colors. And so you can see there are two colors here. We have our fill and our stroke. If you're not familiar with what those two are, so stroke is the outline or the border of an, you know, a color or a shape or something. So like if I was creating a word or like I was creating a picture of something and there wanted, I wanted there to be an outline, the stroke is the outline. So that's what they call an outline in both Illustrator and Photoshop is called the stroke. And you can switch these colors around by pressing this little reverse button. I can pick a color double click it and my color picker comes up and you can see that I can select any color I can pick it by hand or I can actually enter in the code for the color to make it exact I can pick swatches as well if I want to use swatches but we don't I usually don't do that I usually pick by eye or by code I click OK and I've got my color picked top of the screen we have our file. This is where we do things like save. I'm going to create a different video on saving. Um, we can do edit. We can change our objects. This is for our type. This is how we select various objects. These are for our, our effects, which are very similar to Photoshop effects. Here's where we can, so if something's hidden, it's how I can view, like, you know, for example, if my properties are missing or something, I can view them, I can find them in the window, click properties, or I go to view and I can like show my slices, show something. I can snap to grid, which basically means as I'm moving things around on the screen, it'll snap in place instead of me having to place it exactly. Window is really just looking for things, but like, you know, you don't always see everything on the screen, so sometimes you have to go here. For example, Example, if I want to do an image trace, which means I want to take a photo and turn it into, you know, a vector based graphic, I would pick the image trace option in order to complete that. And then finally, there's help, which provides help, illustrator tutorials and getting into your account. Then on the right hand side, as I've already said, you have your properties, you have your layers and you have a library if you are using that feature. 
All right, so that's the basic interface of Adobe Illustrator. The interface itself isn't too complicated. My recommendation for any beginner who's going in and really learning this piece of software is to sit down and give yourself a challenge and really go in and learn how to use each of these tools. Start playing around with some of this stuff. For example, if you you know try to copy an image, you'll start to learn all the tools. If you start to play with text a lot, you'll start to learn like why and how you create outlines and how you use text in Illustrator and you'll really get a feel for the properties. Um, it's not that it's so complicated to use any of these tools, it's actually very easy to use them. It's very difficult to create great art though. That's where the skill part comes in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day everybody. Bye.